Hey, how's it going, everybody? A huge Cleveland Browns victory over the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, 49 to 38, Cleveland Browns hold on at the end uh, to win. This is your Cleveland Browns WKYC.com post-game show. Um, I, I don't know where to begin. I mean, this, I, if you joined us for the pregame show, then you know I did not see this coming. I thought the Cowboys were going to win this game. I thought that uh, the Cowboys passing attack uh, was going to be too much for the Browns to keep up with. But I guess we'll just start at the beginning. The Browns come out, and I thought they were going to come out firing. And, um, you know, I thought they they would try to stick with the run and then move to the pass and, and have to play catch-up. But really, it, it was the other way around. It was the Dallas Cowboys who wound up having to play catch-up uh, with the Browns. And uh, it started with that trick play to open up the game from uh, Jarvis Landry throwing the touchdown pass to – Odell Beckham Jr. to open the game. And then from there, the, the Browns defense, we saw what they did um, very similar to, to what the Browns defense did a week ago against Washington in terms of creating turnovers. Miles Garrett, a third straight game with a strip sack. I mean, that that is unreal. Um, we saw them pick off uh, Dak Prescott at the end. We saw uh, them force a fumble from Ezekiel Elliott. So, um, you know, Definitely a, a different game than the past two games because as opposed to the Bengals and as opposed to Washington, this was a Dallas offense and a Dallas team that wasn't going to go away until the very end. Um, but I think the the difference today for the Browns um, was Odell Beckham Jr. And, and we'll get to the running game in a minute here too, but three touchdowns from Odell Beckham Jr. He had the, uh, the 37-yard touchdown pass from Jarvis Landry on the Browns first drive of the game. He had a one or a four yard touchdown pass uh, later in the game to, to help the Browns ex extend their lead. Um, and then the 50 yard run at the very end of the game on the reverse. I mean, that, that is what you have Odell Beckham Jr. on this team for is uh, because he's capable of getting in the end zone three times on, on any given Sunday. And I think that really proved to be the difference for the Browns today. Another thing, a, a big thing to watch moving forward was Nick Chubb. Uh, he left the game in the second quarter, I believe, um, with a knee injury. Um, he did not return to the game. It looks like he's going to get an MRI tomorrow, and that will uh, determine the severity of the injury. He was able to leave under his own power, so um, you hope that you know kind of rules out. Hopefully, that it's a torn ACL or, or any sort of injury of that, and whatever it is, hopefully it's it's manageable for him moving forward. But still, even without Nick Chubb. Kareem Hunt, Dearness Johnson, Dontrell Hilliard, a guy who they just called up from their practice squad a few days ago. Um, just a huge game from this Browns rushing attack. Uh, and and Dearness Johnson, I believe, wound up being their leading rusher. Um, and just, a, you know, for the Browns offense, they they score 49 points here. They, they got a couple of short fields um, like they did last week against Washington. Um, but, but just an all-around game for them. Uh, Baker Mayfield, two touchdown passes. Uh, including one to Austin Hooper and then um, one, like I said, to Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, Kareem Hunt finds the end zone as well. So, um, look, I, I don't think you can really understate the significance of or, or overstate the significance of this Browns victory. They moved to three and one for the first time since 2001. Um, and I, I mean, just looking back in terms of important games this team has played, this was a quality opponent. I know the Cowboys now fall to, to one and three on the season, but the Cowboys are, are a talented team. We saw that. That's why even after the Browns got up 41 to 14, they had to play all the way down to, to the very end. And, and it was a Denzel Ward interception to, to really seal the game there, um, coupled with the Odell Beckham Jr. 50-yard run. So uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, let me know here, um, and I'll get to them in the chat. But um, keeping an eye on what Kevin Stefanski is saying in his post-game press, press conference right now. But um, – it's it's really, you know, this Browns win, I think, really kind of changes the ceiling for this team moving forward to be three and one at this point in the season. Um, you know, we'll see. I mean, that the Steelers, they're not playing this week because their game was delayed due to the COVID outbreak for the Tennessee Titans. So the Steelers remain in first place. But the Browns now, you know, you go back, what, it was just three weeks ago now, that loss to the Baltimore Ravens in week one. And the way the Browns lost that game, I, I think that reduced the ceiling for this team in, in the minds of a lot of fans. But to come out here to now be three and one, uh, heading into a stretch now against the Indianapolis Colts at home, 
next week and then going to Pittsburgh against the Steelers the week after that, and then a more manageable stretch of the season after that. Um, I, I think this totally changes the way you, you look at this Brown season moving forward. I think, um, you know, what we know about this team now, I think we know they can run the ball. I know Dallas's defense isn't the best, but for Nick Chubb to leave the game as early as he did and for the Browns to keep the chains moving with not only Kareem Hunt, but like I said, Dearness Johnson and Dontrell Hilliard, I think this offensive line has proven itself. I, I think Wyatt Teller uh, through just four games is having a Pro Bowl caliber season. Um, and then you look at the way they're integrating the passing attack. Um, you know, you're, they're, they're getting Odell Beckham Jr. involved and they're getting him involved in a natural way. After that loss to the Ravens, there was a lot of talk about force feeding the ball to Odell. It didn't feel like that's what they were doing. It, it feels like Odell Beckham Jr., the way he's been, been getting involved in this offense has been much more natural than it was not only in week one, but throughout the, the entire 2019 season. I mean, this seems like the best use of Odell Beckham Jr. And it never hurts when, when he can find the end zone. So, um, yeah, just, just looking through the, the chat here, just a lot of go Browns, a lot of positivity. And, yeah, I mean, the Browns scoring 49 points. This is the first time they've scored – at least 30 points in three consecutive games since 1968. I, I thought it would have at least been before 1999, but it was 1968 was the last time the Browns scored 30 points in, um, in, in three straight games. And, you know, I know they haven't played the best defenses. I, I know Dallas's defense has gotten thrashed throughout this season. Three games, it doesn't matter who you're playing. I, I think if you're scoring 30 points on a consistent basis, you're, you're going to give yourself a chance tonight. I think in the modern NFL, you need to score uh, at least 30 points uh, week in and week out to, to really give yourself a, a good chance. Otherwise, I think you're counting too much on your defense. And just the way games are played and, and the way offenses play, I think you're going to have to um, score 30 points to, to keep pace. And the Browns have proven now that they can do that for three straight weeks. Looking at the chats here, uh, that late OBJ run was awesome. It, it was awesome. And, and that's what you go out and get Odell Beckham Jr. for. That's why he is on this team to, to find the end zone multiple times within a game. And we see now, I mean, that that's that's what they did today. I mean, if Odell Beckham Jr. scores three times in the game, I have a hard time imagining the Browns are going to lose. Um, an unsung hero in this game I thought was Jarvis Landry. I, I don't have the box score up right now, um, but but it seems like he had a bunch of catches that just helped extend drives um, and, and really, you know, was the guy who helped move the chains. And, the Browns, the way they play, they don't play a lot of three wide receiver sets. Um, I know Kadero Hodge was banged up, but um, Rashard Higgins wasn't active. But if the Browns can get this from, from Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry, and then get what they get from the running game, and you throw in the tight ends with Austin Hooper and uh, Harrison Bryant, I mean, I, I think that's how this Kevin Stefanski offense is, is trying to look. So, um, you know, really just a, a massive win that uh, – that, that, the Browns had, um, it, it, I don't think it could have gone any bigger. Um, and, and I don't think it could have gone any better. Obviously at the end, they, they, things got hairy and they surrendered the lead and, um, or they didn't surrender the lead, but they were on the verge of surrendering the lead. Um, so I'm trying to keep up with this press conference as well. Um, but again, um, th this is, you know, you, you look at this Browns team, this is what they're going for. And, um, another play that, that I think is going to go under the radar was that Miles Garrett strip sack. Um, that was huge. That that was really what helped the Browns turn this into a multi-score lead and how they were able to play out in front for the majority of the game. So just a massive win. And um, like I said, uh, as we wrap up here, let's spin this forward. The Browns welcome Indy into First Energy Stadium next week, the Indianapolis Colts who are um, playing right now, they welcome the Colts to First Energy Stadium for a 425 game next week. After that, they hit the road to play the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, just to, to, to get off on this crucial, you know, they had, I think the, the way the schedule sets up, it's really a bunch of three-game stretches, and they went two and one in that first three-game stretch. To get off on the right foot in this three-game stretch uh, with, with a win over the Cowboys on the road, just a massive win. I, I think this is the biggest Browns win since 2007 when they were in the playoff hunt. Um, and, and the last time they had a winning season, they went 10 and six that year. Uh, they're three and one now. This is their best start since the 2001 season. Um, and um, we'll see if they can take advantage of it. But 
I don't think, uh, just looking here in the chat, I don't think the Browns got too complacent. I don't think they played not to lose. They were up 41 to 14. You could afford to do that. And I mean, for, for Dallas to come back, and I know things got hairy at the end, but but it would have taken a miracle for the Cowboys to win that game after going down 41 to 14 in the second half. And the Browns were able to hold on. So that's going to do it for me. We'll have you covered on all the latest on WKYC.com throughout the night following this massive Cleveland Browns win. Thanks for watching here on WKYC.com. Thanks.